Hello everyone, welcome to a van life vlog. I'm going on a trip up north for three nights, so I thought I'd bring you along. Um, kind of a funny way to start the vlog. I'm an hour and a half into my three and a half hour drive, or an hour and a half into like my three hour drive. Um, during the first hour and a half, you probably just heard the wind. The wind has been so gusty. I even had a couple um, of like isolated rain showers and everything. Um, and you can't tell because there's light to the south. But over here, it looks lighter on the camera. It got like nighttime. Like it's pretty dark. Um, and I looked on the radar because like I was like driving straight into it. It's mo I'm on the very south side of a huge like long storm most of it is past where i'm going for i'm just going straight north um at this point most of it is past where i'm going but i'm like on the very edge of the south side and there's like some red and orange and all of that on the radar so i stopped at this hotel um it's what time is it sorry it's five o'clock right now um and i have about two hours left a little less um left in my drive but I was like, yeah, I'm going to pull off. I pulled off at this hotel um, just on like, like the side of the building um, because I really don't want to be driving through that. It's already been such annoying, like driving through the gusty wind and everything. Like it's been hard. So I decided to pull over and let it pass a little bit. I'll probably wait like half an hour just to hang out in the back of my van. Um, let most of it pass where I'm going to be driving um, and then get going again. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to be pulling over for a bit. There's this lady in front of me. That's so embarrassing. This lady just walked by right in front of me. She came out of this door over here, went to her car. But I don't know why she's walking around now. But that's so embarrassing. My windows are cracked. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to kind of wait out some of the storm. Because it's like red. And it was like dark. Like I said, it... It went from like bright and like just lightly cloudy and then it was like nighttime. Like it was kind of scary and I got really, really stressed out and had a little quick like panic and I was like, no, I'm fine. That was lightning. I was like, no, I'm fine. I'll just pull over. And thankfully I'm not far enough north where there's like stops. Where there's stops. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go chill back there and try to ignore my fear of hail. Because I'm terrified of hail. What is this? I'm literally just trying to have a good three nights in my van. Have a fun trip on the North Shore. And I'm an hour and a half in. And I didn't even... I didn't think there were supposed to be storms today. I know it's supposed to rain the next two days. But that's not storms. That's just rain. And it's like a small chance. I didn't know it was supposed to storm. So I'm going to go look at that and kind of make a decision. Maybe just hang out for a little bit. See what happens. Yeah, welcome to the vlog, guys. It just started raining. Anyway, it's literally three seconds later, and I looked at the radar, and it's moving mostly west, um, but there's like a tail. This is the shape of the storm, and it's moving this way, and I'm like right here in this curve. So like there's no point in going south because I'm going to hit it as far down as where I came from. So it kind of looks like there's just going to be a patch of red, but it's moving fairly quickly, the wind and everything. There's like two patches of red that might hit here and then it's just green and kind of patchy after that. So I think I just have to wait it out. It just started raining too. Um, so I'm gonna sit back here stressed. Um, I'm gonna pop this. Oh, it's lightning. The wind is picking up. I hate this. I'm gonna go watch one of my shows I have downloaded. And then every once in a while, there's like the biggest crash of thunder. Okay, so I'm editing this right now. And I know it seems like I'm being really dramatic. And I am. But I, like, my biggest fear 
is my van like getting destroyed in a storm or something like that is what I'm always scared of that and like crashing my van not from like myself but destroying everything that I've built and all the money I've put into it and so I hate even when storms roll through like when I'm at home because I'm like my van is out there and there's nothing I can do to like stop like a tornado or hail like it is like my biggest fear that my van gets like damaged badly in like a storm so I like I know it's dramatic but like it's like my biggest fear honestly so keep that in mind please <laughs> it just stopped raining it's supposed to rain for another like heavy rain for another it looks like 20 minutes and then once I get into the green I'll be fine but like the heavy rain is what scares me and I'd rather be stopped in one place like knowing that I'm all good I'm like close to a building and everything and I don't know I just feel safer sitting here and not driving through it I don't know the rain doesn't bother me. Like, I'm fine driving through heavy rain and everything. But, like, it's storming and the winds and just all of it combined. And that is, like, bright red on the radar for another 20 minutes. <sighs> At least I have the time. It's not going to get dark by the time. It's not going to be dark by the time I get there. So I have, like, a couple hours, like an hour and a half, two hours of, like, flexible room before it gets dark fully. I mean, if it's rainy and cloudy, it'll get dark a little sooner, but I have, I have the time that I can sit here for like half an hour and kind of wait it out. I'm just really stressed right now. Clearly. Clearly. Anyway. I've always, I've always had a fear of storms and I still kind of do. Like, I love watching storms, but at the same time, I'm like still terrified of them since I was a little kid. So, yeah. Like, they're cool. But also scary and especially like in this circumstance it's like extra scary <laughs> all right now that i've read a little bit and i'm ready for a nap um i'm gonna get going it's been oh it's been half an hour since i stopped so as i expected it's starting to get lighter out again it's just supposed to light early right now so i survived yay on the road again for another hour and a half <laughs> i don't want to drive anymore i'm so comfy now <laughs> Oh, all right, I'm gonna go. Y'all, I made it. It basically rained for like the rest of the way, but it was like more like on and off heavy. Um, this site is like oddly long. Like it is very long. Like I don't know in my van how far forward or backward to park. Like I want to be able to easily get out, but it's also like kind of, there's kind of like a little hill i don't know if you can tell on the video but there's like a hill to kind of get up just slight so it doesn't really matter for like sleeping or anything but then there's like still so much space back here oh you can't really see but i'll show you outside but like there's still so much space behind me but it's more like tent space so i feel like i'm in a pretty good spot um i was i got out to look and then i went forward and it like kicked in and it like revved really high and I like flew forward because my tire spun for a second because it's so wet and it's like dirt and pine needles. Um, but yeah, decent spot. Not bad. It's all right. There was a group of like teenage boys, I think, um, when I came in, but they're at the very first site down there. Um, and that was very scary. I was like, oh my gosh, a group of like a bunch of boys. Like that's scary. Um, anyway, I have to go find the bathroom because I'm going to pee my pants. I have to pee so bad. Alright, so, went to the bathroom. I got water, but, also oh, I have this tank because my water pump stopped working, so I had to order a new one, but it won't be, it obviously wasn't here in time. I didn't find out until a couple days ago. Um, I vlogged about it, but I feel like it's going to be in, like, a future vlog, um, which doesn't make any sense, but I think I just am going to push out this video as soon as I can. Because um, I love doing, like, camping vlogs and stuff. It's what I'm most excited about. Um, so I'm going to, like, push this one ahead of all my other older vlogs. Um, but anyway, I got that water jug. It's an actual, like, pump. Like, I was pumping that thing. I had to drop that on the ground. It's, like, this big, long handle. And I'm like, whoosh. It's to fill it up. Um, it was like an actual well. 
And so that was fun. I was not expecting that. I got a workout in though. Like my arms are genuinely like tired, <laughs> which is embarrassing. It uh, They shouldn't be, but yeah. Um, but it's now, what time is it? Bro, where's my watch? <laughs> Took my watch off. 7.45. That's the one thing, like, I always want to get there before dark. Like, I need to be able to, like, scout it out. I have to, like, go to the bathroom, maybe fill up on water or whatever. Or whatever. Um, so I need to get to a place before dark. But, like, ugh, I hate when I have, like, time then. I hate getting here so early because I'm not going to go to bed before, like, 10 or 10.30. And so, like, now I have, like, two and a half hours to kill my first night at a campground, I never really want to do anything. I want to be comfortable. So I kind of just hide away until the next day where I can scout everything out fully um, and kind of feel more comfortable at a spot. Um, also, those teenagers that I talked about, they're already yelling. I think it's just a whole group of them. There's like four tents on that site and they're like right over here. I thought they were farther away, but I guess I didn't drive as far. They're like right over here and I can already hear them yelling. So hopefully they don't go too late into the night i mean i have my fans and stuff it'll be fine but yeah anyway that's about it basically i'm gonna read watch a few movies go to bed i don't know i don't have much the nice thing is there's pit toilets here they don't have any showers or anything but it's pit toilets and i actually have a path from my campsite to the toilets so that's really nice i don't even have to I can just go straight there um and they're literally right there so even in the middle of the night if I have to I hate leaving my van after dark but if I really really have to I can go be in the middle of the night um and not have horrible sleep anyway that's a little TMI but yeah that's it I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night I'll probably see you guys tomorrow I look rough there's also kids crying now over there. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Morning, guys. So I've already eaten. I have my coffee cooling over there. I have to do my dishes, which is gonna be annoying with my little water tank. But it's better than what I had before, which was just, like, water jugs. And I had to pour and, like, clean at the same time, which is impossible, actually. Um, because I don't have three hands, so this will be a lot better. At least I have this. Um, anyway, slept really good. I was so tired. I went to bed kind of early, um, earlier than I do at home, and I slept good. Um, my plans for today, I don't know. I still, I want to set this down. There's no good spot for me to set you guys down. Can I set you down, like, right over here? Right on top of my pillow. There. All right. It's a weird lighting situation, but um, basically, I never like fully decided which day I'm doing what because they're both 50 minutes either way about. Um, so I'm either going to be like going to Duluth and up the North Shore a little bit to two harbors. Um, and like doing like the scenic drive and like stopping at all the overlooks on the way and then kind of not spending the day in two harbors but like doing a couple things there like I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and I'll probably just like sit down and read and chill if if it's not like packed um and then I might I haven't decided yet we'll see if I have time on the way down or not back down but I might go to Glen Sheen because I, I love, love, love old houses. And I was actually there when I was like really young for my uncle's wedding. And so I remember like just little flashes of it and it was so cool. But I love old houses like that. Like I love going on tours and stuff. So I think I'm going to do that. But it's more like if I have the time, I'll do it. And basically I'm planning on kind of booking it, not booking it. I'm going to head straight to Two Harbors first and then I'll make my way back. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then the other day I'm going to go up and around and go to like Bayfield and Ashland and that area. 
what is it's like a little round to be a peninsula but it's almost like a little mini peninsula what do you call that area whatever i'm gonna go on that here i'll insert a picture to show you what i mean like i feel like it should be like the bayfield peninsula or something i don't know um but i'm gonna drive there and my parents went there last year during the summer and they have like a used bookstore at one of the places i have it saved on my maps and everything um, and then there's like a coffee shop that I found that looks really cute and good and stuff. And then I'll um, be along the water. There's also, I think they call it the Artisan Wells, but it's basically a spring where you can just fill up water for free. So I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, just like a couple things and just kind of exploring and taking my time throughout the day. I don't want to rush through it and get back here by like five. And then I'm like, what am I supposed to do with the rest of my night? Um, cause then I have like at least five hours until I want to go to bed. So yeah, I don't want to like, it's already almost nine. So I'm like, I got to get going cause I'll be there. Oh, I'll be there by like 10 now, but I also am like, that's fine. That's still like at least seven hours. So I don't know. Um, and like maybe both places, if I find somewhere cool, I might park there for like an hour or two, maybe make some lunch, I don't know, like just kind of hang out in a spot for a little bit and enjoy it, um, sit in my front seat and read, sit outside and read, whatever, um, was just like a nice view. Anyway, but I was thinking of going into a town that I went through right like probably five, ten minutes before I got here, but the only thing is I'm pretty sure whichever way I go, I need to go a little bit more north, not back south. So I have to take a quick look at the maps, see if there's a town that's like along this road, because I'm pretty sure this is a straight road and then it splits and you have to go either way. And so I have to have a decision by then, but I don't have service to kind I mainly want to look at the weather and I have some idea. I screenshotted it a couple days ago. But I have, so I have some idea of what the weather looks like, but I just kind of want to make a final decision. Just kind of see what it all looks like for both places, for both days. I think I need the weather to be a little bit better for the North Shore. Because I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot more outside versus um, when I go to like Ashland and Bayfield. I'll be going like into places, like little stores and like stopping at little places and doing a little less outside. But I really want to go to the North Shore today. So I don't know. We will see. Um... I have to get dressed, I have to drink my coffee, do my dishes, and then we'll get going. I forgot about the hour drive. I'm like, it's only 9, but that means I'm getting there by at least 10. So I need to, I need to get going and not talk to you guys, but yeah, that's what's up. Alright, y'all, I'm on like, it's called something Shore Scenic Drive. Um, instead of the highway, um, and I'm pulled off just on a quick little pull-off. Um, I almost crashed pulling off because the driveway is like a 90 degree angle instead of like a pull in and I didn't see it coming I was like I have to pull over at like the next stop I see but Lake Superior is right there you can't even really see anyway I'm gonna go out and it's so windy it's insanely windy um, I mean it always is but I'm gonna go out I think, oh no, I thought I could go down here. There's no way down at this point. Look at this. That's insane. I'm gonna show, do it with my back camera because it's so much better. Like, look. My van is right here. And we just have Lake Superior right here. Oh, there's a little trail right there. I'm going down. Probably not a good idea to go down here in my Birkenstocks. But you know, it'll be fine. I've hiked in these before. Okay. And holding a camera. Anyway, I'm literally still shaking because I was so stressed. I hate driving through cities as it is, but having to do it in my van is just so stressful. There was lots of construction too, so that didn't help. 
If I go down there, will I be able to get back up? I might only be able to go halfway. I might be able to make it back up. I thought that post right there was a person that scared the crap out of me. Um, do I attempt? Look, this is so pretty. I'm gonna use my front camera again, one sec. Okay, so I didn't attempt. There's a super nice guy, actually. He scared me at first. But um, as I was walking up, he's like, did you go down there? And I was like, I tried, but I have like my Birkenstocks on. He's like, yeah, probably a good call. I was like, he's like, I don't know if I'll be able to get down. I was like, you'll probably be able to make it. Cause he had like running shoes on. I don't have proper shoes. I have Sambos. I have Sambos, that's it. <laughs> um, I need to get some like good, either tennis shoes or hiking boots. Cause I don't have either. Um, I'm just gonna quick eat a quick snack and get going again either head to the next lookout or into town I'm trying to decide if I want to do the lookouts on the way back or on the way up but I just wanted to stop at one to calm down from the drive because <laughs> I hate driving Duluth is like big enough that it's kind of chaotic um on like the highways and stuff plus it was like one lane most of the way because of construction so that was not fun um I just, I'm okay with driving through big cities. Like I drove through this in St. Louis. That was not fun. I still like panic every time. I know I can do it, but I still have like a bunch of anxiety before and after. Um, so also I have to pee again. So I'm gonna have to go find some place. I wanna go to a coffee shop. I have a coffee shop saved. Um, so I wanna go there. Um, but yeah, I kind of, kind of don't know what to do. Cause like, I'm going to get to two rivers by, or two harbors, sorry, two harbors by like 1130 if I leave at this point. And so then like, I can spend a little bit of time there. I don't know if I want to do the lighthouse or not. Um, but I'm like, do I keep going up? But there's not really any other like, bigger towns along the way up until Grammaray and that's like two hours yet and I was originally like oh maybe I can go up there but I really just don't want to drive that far and that much because then I have like a three hour three and a half hour drive back so I don't want to do that but I'm just trying to figure out the timing of everything I don't know anyway that's my little rant I'll see you guys the coffee shop or at my next stop it's starting to rain again I think it's supposed to rain on an awful day. Luckily, I have a rain jacket if I need it, or else I just have my sweatshirt. It's like 65 also, which is almost kind of perfect, honestly. Um, I'd rather it be like 65 versus like 85. I hate being hot, and it's just 10 times worse when it's in the van because it's like almost always like 10 degrees warmer in here, it feels like. Um, so like right now, it's perfect. <laughs> I love this. This is the best trip I've been on in my van so far. At least solo. My best solo trip I've been in my van so far. I'm just about to sit here and read on my Kindle while it sprinkles. And I can hear the waves crashing from Lake Superior right down there. I literally could cry. I'm so happy. I love this. I love this so much. I'm just gonna read for a little bit so I can let the rainstorm pass. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Another pull off. This time with steps and the parking lot. It is so windy. Also, I realized I drove all the way here like an hour um, with my vent fan wide open.
my routine is pull off go walk around and then come back and read for a little bit and enjoy the view from my van <laughs> that's insane ah! <laughs> all right so i just finished my drive and now i'm at a place called cedar coffee company um i basically found it by scouring google maps i actually have a easier time like finding cool cute places on google maps versus like looking it up on instagram or tiktok um so i found this place so we'll see what it's like we'll see if it's good and i might try and sneak a few clips while i'm in there it's pretty busy so it's got to be good right also i'm gonna pee my pants so i'm praying they have a bathroom that i can use all right time to get coffee Y'all, this place is so cool. I'm trying to be quiet. So I don't even know if you can hear me because there are, are like families right over here. But I'll show you a clip where there are like tables out here and I'm sitting at one and I'm going to read a little bit on my Kindle and drink my coffee, which is super dark. So that means it's gonna be a good one. My little taste test was right. It was good. So anyway, I'll show you a quick view of where I am. It's so cool. Coolest coffee shop I've ever been to. Y'all, I'm a sucker. There's this cute little shop. Here, I'll show you. It's called Moon Market. It's just along the scenic drive that I'm doing. And I sat on my way up, so I was like, I'm gonna have to stop on the way back. So I got something. And was it overpriced? Yeah, everything in there was so expensive. But did I get suckered into something anyway? Yes, look at this cute notebook. Like, look at the back. It was 14 bucks. A little bit more than the average notebook, but I didn't think this one was too marked up, so I got it. Um, let me show you. Let's set you. I don't know. I don't really have a place to set you. I'll just show you. I'm not going to be able to be in the video. Okay. <gasps> Alright, we're back. Um, let's see if I can show you this. But look, it's got like cute little decorations on the pages and stuff it's so cute and i have another journal that just uh probably like twice a year i do write in it every once in a while and today i went to like write in it and i wanted to write about just about today and like how i was so happy and everything but i was like you know i wish i brought a separate journal that I could write just like all about my traveling and everything in it. And then I stumbled upon this and I was like, okay, well now I have to write about all my van adventures and van life in this notebook. Um, so I got this and I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna write all about any trips I take in my van and stuff like that in here. And I could probably just keep this in here, but 
yeah, I'm a sucker. Also, I've peed a million times today and I have to pee again. What's up with that? I mean, I've been chugging liquids left and right, but still. <laughs> anyway, TMI at this point, but yeah. Basically, I'm going to go to, if I can find a lookout, I'm probably just going to sit there for a couple hours, maybe make some early dinner, and I'll probably be done eating for the night. Because I didn't really have lunch, I kind of snacked on a couple things. So if I have an early dinner, it'll be good, um, and then I can have a snack before bed or whatever. But I don't want to like leave and go back to the campsite too soon. But it's almost 5 o'clock, so it's almost rush hour, and I don't want to go through traffic. So that means I'm going to have to stay here for like 3 hours before I can leave. But, you know, it's fine. I mean, it's pretty. And I'd probably do this, just kind of sit around at my campsite anyway. But it's just like, kind of awkward timing at this point. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get driving again. Alright, we found the spot for the next 2.5 hours, and where I'm going to have dinner we even got porta potties so i can pee again um but i put on my parking brake and i'm praying because i'm just at the slightest slant and literally a cliff i don't know if you can see it. i'll show i'll do a video from my back camera because i can't tell but i'm literally on a cliff edge so yeah yeah but it's so pretty, like, I'm going to be able to have my curtains open because no one's going to walk in front of me and, like, try and see in and watch me. So I'll be able to open my curtains and see Lake Superior. Right there. Well, I cooked dinner. Ugh. But I'll show you on my front camera how I'm literally parked on the ledge. I put on my brake and I lurched forward. And I was like, put it on the parking brake. <laughs> okay. This is the best I can get. Like, those weeds are, like, right in front of me. But like, is 0.5 gonna show it? I don't know, but my front wheels are right on this curb right here. So yeah, literally right there, cliff, but so pretty. What a view, look at her. You know just your normal dinner view wait wait hey oh your normal making dinner view this is the van life i dreamed of yes it's like superior and not the ocean but this is still amazing and i'm in a spot that i can open these up because no one's gonna walk in front of me and like peek in there's a breeze coming in through my cracked windows oh it's perfect. Gonna chill for a little bit. Probably read. Then make dinner. Then chill for a little bit more. Then get going. Mm -hmm.